Hello, friends. It is Thursday. How did the week fly by so fast? I don't know. <laughs> Today, we are going to work on sentence writing and story writing. So, um, what I would like for us to do together is write a sentence together. Um, and then I want you to work on writing a story today. I'm not sure who has done a story. Definitely want to see um, how your writing is coming along. Writing is really hard, especially for kindergartners, and um, that's okay. And the best way to make it through, to persevere, for it to get less hard, for it to get more fun is to continuing to practice. So even now as an adult, <clears throat> it is hard for me to write. Um, and sometimes I just don't have anything to say or I don't know what to say. And then other times I have so much to say, so much to say. But the most important things with story writing um, for kindergarten is writing your sentences correctly. And that's a learning target that we've worked with a lot. I can write my sentences correctly. So a correct sentence has <clears throat> an uppercase in the beginning. It has all lowercase letters unless it is somebody's name. Okay. And then it has finger spaces in between the words and it has a period at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look at our sort words for this week <clears throat> and I'm going to find a word for us to practice with. Okay, I'm going to use the word hat. And then I'm also going to look at our sight words for this week and find a word to practice. Okay, I'm going to use the word this. Okay, so um, <clears throat> Here's the sentence. This hat is big. This hat is big. What I want you to do is I want you to put the video on pause and I want you to write the sentence. This hat is big. Now, one of the first things I do, and many of you have done this with me, is I take my hand out, <coughs> my fist out, because I want to plan the sentence out. And if I plan the sentence out, I know however many fingers are up are the amount of words that I have to write, okay? So let's do this hat is big. So get your fist out, ready? This hat is big. So I have four words to write. So go ahead and put this on pause, and I want you to write the sentence, this hat is big. This hat is big. <clears throat> okay, now what I'm going to do, maybe you're turning it back on pause now, and I am going to write the sentence incorrectly, and we're going to move through um, how to spell or write certain things or do finger spaces together. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so keep your sentence with you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my sentence. Here we go. Okay. Now what I, this is my sentence. Okay. So the sentence was supposed to be this hat is big. Okay. This hat is big. So first, let's make sure that we have the correct uppercase letter in the correct places. Correct uppercase and lowercase letters. So I'm going to start in the beginning. Oh, I'm noticing I have a lowercase t for the word this. So I'm going to go ahead and erase it. And I'm going to write my uppercase t. This. Okay, so this, now this is supposed to say hat, but instead it says hat, hat. So I need to stretch this word out. I need to sound this word out, okay? So ready, here we go. Hat, at, hat, at, hat. 
Okay, I know there needs to be three letters. We're gonna go back, okay. I forgot the middle letter, okay. And then I'm going to do my T at the end in my regular color because that I was just missing that letter. <clears throat> okay, this, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I thought we were, I mm, did a little mix up. I said we were gonna only look for uppercase letters and lowercase letters in the correct places, and I didn't do that. <clears throat> so let's, I started looking at spelling, okay? So let's continue and look for uppercase letters and lowercase letters in the correct places. So we fix this one. Here we go, here's this one. All lowercase, that's great. All lowercase, that's great. <gasps> oh, okay, hmm, this is the word b -i -g big. This is not somebody's name, and this is not the name of like a special place. And so this is definitely not an uppercase B, okay? Now, if you are wondering, <clears throat> or if you remember, um, how you write upper and lowercase B is you would bring your fingers together like this. Now, I have to turn around to show you, okay? So like this, this is your B for bed, right? B, E, D. So here's your B, and now you know, oh, okay, I know how to write my B. I know what direction it needs to go into, okay? Or direction it needs to go to. Go in, oh my gosh, my sentences are not, my words are not flowing today. This hat is big. Okay, now let's go back <laughs> and make sure we have um, finger spaces, okay? Let's make sure we have finger spaces. I'm gonna go through, do I need a finger space in the very beginning? No, I definitely do not. So don't need a finger space. I do need one here, yep. Here, yep, I decided not to write this word up here because I thought it would be too close together, so I wrote it down here. I don't need a finger space, okay? And then I need one here, yes. Okay, great, all my finger spaces <coughs> are correct. Now I'm gonna go through spelling, okay? This is a sight word. It should be spelled correctly, and it is. This, okay? Hat, at, hat. This is spelled correctly. Here is a sight word, is. Hmm, it does not look right to me. Is, what did, what is the mistake that I made here? What is the mistake that I made in this sight word? Yeah. You're right, it's not a Z, it's an S. It sounds like a Z, and that is the tricky thing about the sight word is. Okay, is big. Okay, now I'm gonna check and see. Oh, so everything's spelled correctly, b-i-g, b-i-g, big, okay, awesome. Now I'm gonna see if I have my period. Yes, I do. Okay, nice work. Um, I want you to fix your sentence. If you need to fix anything on your sentence, go ahead and do that now. And you can put this on pause. Okay. And try to do that now. Okay. Nice job. All right. <clears throat> Next. Writing a story. Okay. What I want you to do is write a how to book. How to book. Now, at the end of your, um, at the end of your literacy packet, you should have this. So I want you to go ahead and find that, okay? Go ahead and find that. You can put this video on pause and do this story writing thing later, okay? <clears throat> okay. How to books, they tell us, or sorry, they <laughs> tell others how to do something. So they teach someone else how to do something. It's really good to think about real things, okay? So um, a lot of you built a frog home. So maybe you'd like to write about the frog home. Some of you have even caught frogs and you might want to write about how to catch frogs, okay? I am gonna write a story about how to hear frogs in the evening, okay? So, <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm going to imagine 
that I am hearing frogs in the evening and I'm just going to observe what it is that is happening around me. Okay, so that I can teach someone else to do it. So I'm closing my eyes and I'm imagining how to hear frogs in the evening. or even just how to hear frogs. Okay, so what I know, I'm gonna open my eyes, what I know is that I have to be near water and that it has to be in the afternoon or evening and that I have to be really quiet. <clears throat> okay, the first step that I am going to write about is the frogs Hearing the frogs in the evening, what is the first step I have to do? Okay, I don't remember, so I'm going to close my eyes again. What do I need to do? I need to wait until it's the afternoon or the evening. That's the first thing I needed to do. So if you are confused on where to start, close your eyes. Remember, what is the first thing that happens so that you can remember, okay? So I'm going to write, and I am going to do it this way, and then I'll turn it around. Okay, so I'm going to write step one. <clears throat> Make sure it is the afternoon or evening. Okay, <clears throat> something I didn't do that I know you will do is plan out your sentence before you write, okay? Every time we do this, I need you to plan your sentence out before you write. So here is my page. Step one, make sure it is the afternoon or evening, and then I would draw a picture of what that might look like. Okay, I'm actually gonna draw some hills and the sun is on its way down, okay? Okay, so there's my step one and I'm sure your pictures will be much more detailed than this, okay? Um, step two, so I'm gonna write step two. Now I'm gonna show you planning out. Okay, step two is to Make sure that you are near water, okay? So you have to be near um, like a creek or a pond or um, somewhere where frogs like to live. So near frog habitat, which would be water. So let's see, what should my sentence be? Make sure you are near some water. Make sure you are near water. So I have five, six words to write. <clears throat> Here we go. Make sure you, see I don't need a finger space here, are near water. Okay, then, let me, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, make sure you are near water. Now, I want you using a pencil when you're doing this, and then when you reread, when you go back and reread, you're gonna touch each word. Make sure you are near water, okay? Okay. <clears throat> um, I wanna add more to this. I'm gonna write what types of water um, you could be near. So I'm going to say, let's see here, make sure you are near water. <clears throat> um, and then I'll say, for example, have to use my uppercase, for example, oh, I need to plan this out. For example, what am I going to say? For example, a lake pond or oh or stream so i already have for example and then i'm going to do a lake pond or stream so i have five words to write okay for example 
a lake, pond, or stream. Period. I thought of another sentence I want to write here. For example, a lake, pond, or stream, and then um, a any place that is any place that is a frog habitat. Any place that is a frog habitat. Ooh, that's a lot of words. Five, six, five, six, seven. Okay. <clears throat> Don't need a finger space right after the period. Any, I'm going to put place down here. Any place that is a frog habitat. Okay. Now I'm not going to draw a picture because I know that you will be drawing beautiful pictures, okay? Now, I'm on my last step. Step three. What in the world am I doing? I'm lost. I don't know. Where am I in this story? Who knows? I don't know. But guess what? Whoa, I can tell you how to find out. All you need to do is go back to your story pages and reread them so that you can remember what in the world you're up to, okay? It's very easy to forget what's happening in stories, <laughs> okay? So we're gonna go back, we're gonna reread, okay? Here we go. Step one, make sure it is the afternoon or evening. Now, if you're rereading, you might find there are some words that don't make sense, and you might have to erase and 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 choose some different words and and edit. Okay, here we go. Step two: make sure you are near water. For example, a lake, pond, or stream. Any place that is a frog habitat. Okay, I remember what I'm doing now. Now the next part is about being quiet and not moving so that I can hear the frogs. Okay, so I'm gonna close my eyes again and just put myself back in the place where I am near a lake, pond, or stream and I'm being very quiet. Okay, step three. Okay, here we go. Be very quiet and don't move okay here we go step three be very quiet and do not move i'm going to actually do an exclamation mark because this is important don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Be very quiet and do not move. Okay, I'm going to add one more thing about opening the ears and listening. So, you know, remember we would we did deer ears? So, I'm going to um I'm going to write about that. I think well, maybe not. I think that's too many words for now. I think what I'm going to do is open your ears and listen. Okay? Open your ears and listen. Here we go. Open your ears and listen. Oops, I did not stay on the lines. Another exclamation point, exclamation mark, okay? Be very quiet and do not move. Open your ears and listen. Yeah. All right. So I have my, my words. And I think what I would like to do is go back. And I would like to look and make sure all my words are spelled correctly. If I have uppercase, like make sure all my things, my sen sentences are correct. I'm going to go in with details. I'm going to go back. I'm going to start labeling. 
sun, hill, and then I might draw, this is a river or a stream. So I'm gonna label stream. Okay, so I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna do some labeling. I'm gonna do some birds, birds out. Oh, and then this is like, this is a frog right here, frog. Okay, so make sure you go back and you label your work. Okay, um, there's an extra page on here for you to either continue writing if you have a step four. I'm gonna actually use mine as a title page. The title of mine is called How to Hear Frogs. Oh, sing, How to Hear Frogs sing. And then I'm going to draw a beautiful picture here. And that's going to be my actually very first page. And I have written a story. I would love to see a completed story from you um, by Monday of next week. Okay. Um, and it longer, if you need longer, that's fine. I want to see one full story from you. Okay. All right. Sending you lots of love. Please reach out if you need any help.